We are less than a week away from the playoffs and all eyes are locked into the play-ins and what it can mean for the top seeded teams in the West and Eastern Conference. That includes the New York Knicks. But if we look toward the future, we can see another important date, the NBA draft. But now, given the new updates and changes to draft night, it could mean everything to the New York Knicks and the massive moves they're looking to pull off this offseason. We're going to break down the NBA draft night changes and so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. NBA draft night changes could be a huge benefit to the New York Knicks. Now, I know it's easy to forget draft night, given the New York Knicks look like a contender. They're in the playoffs, and they're waiting to see who they're going to face between the Miami Heat and the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm locked into that. I can't wait for that. And once we understand who the Knicks are going to face in the first round, I am going to be dropping so much content on it. So don't worry about that. I can't wait till we figure that out tomorrow night. But until then, it does make sense to look at the New York Knicks and currently the war chest of assets that they have right now and potentially what they can do with it in the future. If you didn't know, here's how the New York Knicks and that war chest is looking like. Shout out to the account New York Basketball on the app X for giving us the following information. The Knicks own all of their first round picks for the next seven years. The Knicks own two first round picks in 2024 because that Dallas pick came to the New York Knicks. Speaking about that Dallas pick, we should also mention the following about it. The Knicks and the Mavs have both finished with 50 wins, which means there will be a random drawing to see if the Knicks get the 24th pick and the 25th pick in the draft or the 24th pick and the 25th pick in the draft. Jeremy Cohen is basically poking fun at the Knicks because Dallas, even though we have their pick, it's going to be a late round pick. And the Knicks pick is going to be a late round pick because both teams have been very good this season. Even though that's the case, a first round pick is still a first round pick. More first round picks is better than having zero first round picks. So I will definitely take that if I'm the New York Knicks. But even more than that, if you look back at the war chest of assets that the Knicks have on top of those picks, they also have protected first from Detroit, Washington, and Milwaukee. The Pistons first is a top 18 protected in 2024. So obviously we're not going to get that this year. Top 13 protected in 2025. Top 11 protected in 2026. And it's top nine protected in 2027. The Wizards first is a top 12 protected in 2024. Obviously we're not getting that this year either. Top 10 protected in 2025. And top eight protected in 2026. Milwaukee first is top four protected in 2025. The Knicks have 11 second round picks available as well. And they also have draft rights to several overseas players. One of those players being Rokas Jokobitis, who has been tearing it up in the EuroLeague. So let's take into account the fact that the New York Knicks currently, as constructed, are a contender. If they make a trade, a meaningful trade for an impactful player that fits this roster, they could be a contender for the NBA Finals for many years. We all know that. But if we take all of that into account, the draft assets, all of the picks we have, all of the players that we have, and everything we have moving forward, and then we look at the NBA draft, the draft night changes, and everything that means for teams, it likely means the Knicks are making a massive move this offseason. Let's take a look at those draft night changes. Shout out to TheHeavy.com for giving us the following information. As the Knicks inch closer to title contention, they are unlikely to draft 19-year-olds and develop them alongside a group of veterans. If the modern NBA has taught us anything, a disgruntled superstar or two will become available via trade over the summer or closer to the February trade deadline. Now could be the time for the Knicks to cash in on its draft assets. Starting in 2024, general managers will be afforded four minutes per pick in the second round allowing them a longer window to discuss last-minute deals and get more clarity on the draft board. The changes are geared toward facilitating more trades than in previous years. According to ESPN, if the draft goes as some NBA personnel hope, expect more trades and an emphasis on players drafted on the second day. The two-day format will also give teams an entire night 
to reevaluate the draft board before returning to the war room the next day. According to sources close to ESPN, the overnight break will lead to a stronger trade market than ever before. According to a Western Conference executive, the increased pressure we face to trade picks from the end of the lottery through pick 60 requires more time to process in the moment. Two days allows for the possibility of a longer transaction cycle around the draft and celebrates a signature moment in the league's calendar. And I quote from ESPN, the overnight break is going to create a stronger trade market than ever before for draft night. If that's the case and the New York Knicks with their war chest of assets and they have all of those assets available to them and they own all of their first round picks moving forward for the next seven years, a massive move is coming. We're just waiting on who. The who is the only thing left to answer. I think everybody, all you guys in the comments, everybody watching this video right now, everybody who's following the Knicks knows this offseason, a major massive move is coming. And once we understand who the disgruntled players are, we're going to probably know at least a couple of names the New York Knicks are likely going to go after. But we don't know that list yet. We still have to be patient and we have to wait. But here's another reason, a main reason, in my opinion, why you know the New York Knicks are going to make a massive move this offseason. The revamped NBA draft format will also allow franchises to sign second round players to multi-year minimum deals without eating into offseason cap space. What type of move does that sound like to you? Because to me, that sounds like a Leon Rose move. Signing a second round player, a place where you've already had success drafting players and developing them. So you have no problem at all drafting there. Now you can draft players there, sign them to multiple year deals without having to eat to your offseason cap space. And you're telling this to Leon Rose? This is like music to his ears. Not only can he get a rookie that he can develop for multiple years without having to hurt his cap space, but also you give him an extra night to look at everything, understand who's going to be available and what players he should target, that likely is going to lead to Leon Rose striking gold again for the New York Knicks. Almost every move he's made for this franchise has been beneficial and has helped us move forward in the right way. So I can't knock Leon Rose. He has a plan this offseason. It's definitely going to involve the draft. And given that the Knicks own multiple first-round picks in this year's draft, and we know the Knicks are not going to draft multiple players, and now we know they can sign a second round pick to a multiple year deal without having to worry about eating to their cap space. I think it means that the New York Knicks are likely going to focus in. They're going to hone in on drafting a player in the second round and develop him and hopefully watch that player blossom because they believe they can do that now because they've had luck doing it in the past already. And if that's the case, that means the Knicks are likely going to trade their first round picks for this year as well as maybe a couple of first-round picks they own in future years to get that player that they covered this offseason. And it all depends on who the player is and if they become disgruntled. I'm sure the Knicks have a list of players that they want to go after, but they likely can't go after them yet because they haven't announced yet that they want to trade or they're disgruntled or whatever the case may be. So the Knicks under Leon Rose are doing exactly what they've been doing every single year, being patient, watching the NBA and waiting patiently for their time for that player to become available that they can throw all their assets to and try to get them on this roster. They've been doing that. They've been biding their time. They've been making the right moves under Leon Rose. And now they've created a contender without having to sacrifice any of their first round picks. And they still own protected first round picks from other teams. They are definitely making a move this off season. All of these draft night changes even more support that fact, especially that little nugget about second round picks and being able to draft them to multiple year deals without having to eat into your cap space. That is a Leon Rose move if I've ever heard one before. The fact that the NBA is just giving it to him is a bonus. If you've watched my videos long enough, you know exactly who I want on this team. But what I want to know is, who do you want? Do you want the players that I want or do you want somebody different? Is there a new name on the list, a new name on the horizon that you guys are noticing that potentially could become available that you want the Knicks to go after? Leave that comment below and let me know because honestly, guys, 
I would love to hear from you. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.